Hey everyone and welcome to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. And with that being said, let's just jump right on into the news. We have some sponsorship news kind of to talk about. The first thing that I have to talk about is a video from Cult called Cult Down Under and it's also titled Welcome Jason Watts. So basically what this is is that we have, let's see, Vish, Corey Walsh, Dan Foley, Ben Piggott, I'm not sure how you say that, I'm sorry, uh, and Jason Watts all going down to Australia to ride, and it's a 17-minute video from the trip with Vish as the filmer editor, and basically these guys went down to Australia and shut down everything that they touched. When I was watching this video, through most of the video, I was thinking about how I don't know what I'm gonna say because everything in it is so good and there's nothing that stands out so much more than the rest. And then we had the Corey Walsh section of this video where he basically goes so fast and high on everything he touches and it's completely insane. I'm like, okay, now we've got to talk about Corey Walsh going crazy and his like alley-oop moto whip to turn down airs and just into tabletop too. It's completely insane stuff. And then we have the Jason Watts section, which opens, or it's the second clip, whatever, with a tuck no hander to toothpick stall. And then he does like a decade air out of a quarter pipe that's like the second clip in this section and it just gets crazier from there and jason is one of these dudes that can do like the most insane tech stuff and he can hit a set of trails and go super high and stylish and do the knack knacks and all the other crazy trails tricks that we're used to seeing from people like him and in the description of the video it literally says at the end that pure bmx is what this edit is all about and that is absolutely the case. And I think the one standout trick from this video is the last clip from Jason Watch. Jason Watch. Jason Watts. Which might be one of the craziest things I've seen in a long time. They showed up to this like three in a row box jump tabletop park, whatever you want to call it. And Jason Watts does a 180 tuck on the first one goes fakie up the lip of the next one, fakie nose manuals all the way across it, lands in the downside, still going fakie, and then does a half cab decade, like full cab air. I have no idea even what that part was, but it was a decade from being fakie and he ended up going straight. Seriously, that clip alone is worth watching. So if you don't want to check out the entire 17 minute, 40 second long video, click through to the end for that one because it is worth it and it is crazy. Another thing that I wanna add in here about this cult video before we move on is that it was very well put together, very well filmed, several different angles on the tricks that it mattered for. And I loved the inclusion of the dinosaur looking birds from Australia. That was awesome. And the spots that they went to, super crazy looking. The one was like a gigantic quarter pipe with what looked like a pump track. It, it looked like it was made to be ridden, but not at the same time because there was like structures in the middle of these rollers. If you watch the video, you'll see what I mean, but it definitely looked like a super awesome time and everyone involved did a great job in putting this one together. And that's it for sponsorship news for this week. We have contest and jam news in a BMX jam flyer that Ride posted up for the Holy BMX Jam at the Skate Church in Davenport, Iowa. This is going on February 3rd and you can find more information by searching on Facebook Holy BMX Jam. They're gonna have three contests there. The Savior of the Skate Church, the Lord of the Flat Rail, and the King of the Mini Ramp. So I figured I would throw it in there for anyone who might be in the area February 3rd. And that brings us right on into the videos from this week. The first one I want to talk about is Roger's Garage video part and it comes from Kurt Schmidt and I know that a few of you watching this right now just got really excited because there's not a ton of Kurt Schmidt riding online. And for those of you who are newer to BMX, like say within the last 10 years, 
and who are asking who is Kurt Schmidt. You're exactly right because this footage came from 1990 and 1991 and Kurt just uploaded it this week to his YouTube channel and there is so much awesome writing in here from the crazy technical lip trick stuff that the people who have heard of Kurt already know about to stuff like 720s over box jumps. He does a 180 over box jump, 270 tuck no hander, 360 turn downs. Um, he does a tail whip in here. There's just a little bit of everything for everyone in here and it's definitely awesome to see the bike in the video or several different bikes from the video and what riding was kind of like 20 years ago, 20, 30 years ago almost. Wow, crazy. But it's definitely worth watching and it's four and a half minutes long. And after that, we had a drop the pin video, this time with Eric Elstrand and Jeff Dowen. And I know that every single week, I keep saying that these drop the pin videos are better than every single other one. And it, it happened again. They did a fantastic job putting this one together or Jeff Z did a fantastic job putting this one together with Eric and Jeff and the riding in it, the the, uh, the chemistry between these two, I guess you could say, is super awesome because they're feeding off of each other, doing awesome tricks on all of their different random setups that they find on the pin. And just like last time, they went up and rode the exact location of their pin, which just happened to be out in front of a convenience store, which led to a very interesting part of the video you'll just have to watch it to see what i'm talking about but when it comes to the riding everything was great eric elstrand you know him you know his riding you know that it's awesome and jeff just backs it up with some super awesome riding of his own and it's definitely one that i recommend checking out this week continuing with the split video theme that we seem to be developing in this week's videos the next video i want to talk about this week is called x games park doubles and it's with charlie crumlish and bad Maddie. This one was uploaded to the SNM YouTube page and it's a split video with Charlie and Maddie that includes some doubles clips and some single clips, but all of it is awesome. And these two dudes ride very similarly, but very differently at the same time. So it makes a very awesome to watch video and definitely another one for this week that I recommend you guys checking out. You know Charlie's riding, and if you don't know Maddie's riding, you need to watch this video to get familiar because Maddie is a serious wizard when it comes to the back wheel and brake tricks. And like I said about the split doubles video theme that we have going this week, I've got to throw in the video that I dropped this week with Catfish because it's a split doubles video and we just happened to film this video on the exact same day that Charlie and Maddie filmed some of their video and we dropped them on the same day without even knowing that each other was going to do it and I think maybe even the drop the pin came out on the same day as well kind of crazy so I figured I would throw it in here and if you guys want to check it out there is a link in the description below as well as links to everything else that I've talked about and I'm going to talk about in today's video and it's all in the order that it's being talked about so get down there and check anything that you guys might want to out and that's the last of what I want to talk in depth about when it comes to videos from this week but as always there's several other videos that are worth talking about and worth watching so let's run through those right now the first one is a dream yard summer session in Pat Casey's backyard with a ton of different shredders then we had a video called chris kyle and company's hometown bogey and this one was from dig then we had a cam gervin 2019 florida mix followed by dre tilly about time from profile and that brings us into the products from this week the first thing that i have to talk about here is a video from ride at the cabda expo in california talking to a bunch of different brands about their new 2019 and 2020 products. The brands that they're including are S&M, Fit, Kink, Cinema, and Haro. This is a 12 minute long video with a bunch of different stuff in there. Uh, Chris Moeller with S&M and Fit talks a ton about different products, a few of which we've already talked about in previous news videos and one that I'm going to talk about here in a second. 
Then we've got uh, Chuck with Kink and Blackout Distribution talking about some different kink cinema brands under the Blackout Distribution name products. And then we have John from Haro going over a ton of different Haro and premium products. One thing that I want to mention in this is that if you pay attention during the kink and blackout portion, Chuck talks about a complete kink bike called the Kink Whip, which is full chromoly, full sealed everything with uh, double walled rims, basically everything that anyone could possibly need when they first start out with a bike. And it's only $420 as he says. And then you go over to the Haro section and he talks about a bike which I think retails at $499 or something, something more than $420, which doesn't even have full chromoly frame. So it's definitely a hint that you guys need to do your research whenever you're buying a bike. And you want to make sure that you look into every single aspect of things because there's such a range in bikes and what you're actually getting for your money. And you can definitely get yourself a bike that is going to last you a lot longer for a great price versus some other options out there on the market. And it's something that I wanted to make sure that I talked about in here. Then after that, we have a quick 23 second promo video for the Haro Lineage Grind Disc Sprocket. This isn't something that was talked about in the previous video that I just talked about. After that, we had some S&M Pedal Power Trucker Hats, another thing that wasn't talked about in the video that I just talked about, but these hats are going to be available in black, gold, and red. I think that the red is coming because it's not on the website yet, and they're going to cost $16.95. After that, we've got the Eclat Trippin version 2 rim, which is available now. Basically, it's the same rim, but it's widened. I think it's 38 millimeters now. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can check that one out. This is a pinned seam rim though, and it's important to know the difference between a pinned seam and a welded seam rim. Pin seams are a little bit lighter because obviously there isn't a weld. And the way that it works is the rim goes together like this and then there's pins that go between each side of the rim and that's what holds it together versus the welded seam which is obviously a seam that is welded all the way across then smoothed out. That's why welded seam rims cost more because they take more time and more energy and resources to put them together but usually a welded seam rim is stronger so that's something that you also want to keep in mind when buying parts. After that, we've got Fitbike Co's new blunt cranks, which are out now. These were talked about in the video, talking about all of the 2019 products. These are a reimagined version of the indent cranks. These are 24 millimeter hollow spindle cranks that have an investment cast spindle boss, which is welded to the rest of the tubular crank arm. And it's, as Chris said in the video, blunt so that you can do tail whips and catch your whips on your cranks all day long without sharp edges or the worries about hurting yourself. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can check that one out in the link in the description below because they are available right now. And the last product related thing to talk about this week is a quick promo video for Kink's new Backwoods frame. This frame comes in at 20.75, 21, 21 and a quarter, and 21 and a half inches. The chainstay length is 13 and a half inches with a slammed bottom bracket height of 11.6 inches, a standover of nine inches with a head tube of 74.5 degrees, a seat tube of 71 degrees, and a weight at four pounds, 15 ounces. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a trails frame being called the backwoods, but I also know that 13.5 just a couple years ago was the norm in lengths of rear ends on the bike. So not totally sure there, but I do know that that might leave a gap without their mud runner frame being produced anymore. So I'm interested if you guys know anything about that, let me know in the comments down below. Next up, we've got a couple different interview type things to talk about this week. The first thing here is another, your favorite rider's favorite rider from Ride BMX, this time with Brock Rayford. And I think they put it in a Facebook post or somewhere that Brock Rayford's favorite rider is not someone that you would expect to be Brock Rayford's favorite rider. I won't spoil it for you, but it's definitely a good one and definitely 
always awesome to hear from Brock because he's just a super positive and professional person when it comes to BMX. And I'm glad to see so much good stuff happening for Brock right now. These are your favorite riders, favorite riders videos are always awesome to watch. It's always great to see the different videos that they put in while they're talking about the rider and just getting to know people on a more than just riding basis. I've said this so many different times in the past, but it can't be overstated how important it is for people to get to know riders and just be able to connect with people through more than just their riding. After that, and the last thing that I have to talk about this week is an interview with Mike Mastroni about the Ride BMX Headlights Project. If you guys didn't know, Mike is the filmer and editor of the project, and they did this interview talking about some insight behind the project. Insight was the title of an old Ride BMX video. Either way though, this was a good interview. I didn't really enjoy the first few questions about it. I felt like there was way too many opinions in there and not enough talking about the project itself. Regardless, it was a good interview. The video was awesome. And if you did enjoy the Ride BMX Headlights video, you'll probably enjoy this interview and some of the different things talking about what went into it and a few of the different stories that he included in the answers to his questions. So with that being said, that's going to wrap up this week's BMX news video. Other than there is going to be a new Stephen Hamilton video today in less than an hour from when I'm recording this. So I will definitely include a link to that in the description below as the first thing that you guys can check out in the description below. Other than that, everything will be in the order that it's talked about. So I wanna thank you guys for being here and watching. If you're new here and enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button down below, share the video with a friend. I make BMX news videos just like this one every Friday with other types of riding videos and streams throughout the week and a Tip Tuesday video on Tuesdays. Thanks again for being here and watching guys and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.